Good morning, Holt High School. This is Mr. Willard with your Friday, March 26th announcements. Just as a reminder, next week, a little bit of a change as our high flex instruction accommodates our spring break. Uh, pay close attention to the fact that on Wednesday, uh, first, second, and third hour are 30 minutes with fourth, fifth, and sixth hour being 90 minutes. Uh, this is order to accommodate the fact that on Thursday, we'll still only be meeting with first, second, and third hour. Uh, this will ensure that we have the same number of instructional hours for our students that week. Uh, with no school on Friday, with spring break starting for that whole week. And speaking of spring break, in-person students that travel outside of the United States during spring break will not be permitted to attend in person for at least the week after break. If you are planning to leave the United States and are an in-person student, please contact our attendance office so we can provide more information. Main campus number is 699-6928 or the North Campus line 699-7076. And that's just to ensure the safety of all students when they come back. There will be a survey that comes out today from the district. The survey is only if you have decided to switch your mode of instruction. Uh, surveys being sent out. You only need to complete the survey if you are currently remote and are deciding to come back face to face or if you're face to face and have decided to come back or to go remote. Um, this will be the last chance to make any decision for the rest of the school year. Uh, your commitment that you pick um, currently will be that for the rest of the school year. So just keep in mind, if you wanna switch, um, you'll have a chance to do that. Um, this will be the only opportunity and you must make that change by March 31st. Uh, please contact one of the principals if you have any questions. If you're interested in talking about the school resource officer and the role they might play in schools, there's a meeting Wednesday, March 31st. Uh, our heat group is looking for students who wanna be a part of that conversation. If you're interested, you can scan this QR code or click on the Google form link that I sent you yesterday. Uh, your voice matters. Uh, we can only keep up to 10 students, uh, but even if you're not picked as a committee member, uh, we'll still take the information and share any uh, questions, concerns, or positive that you have about that experience. Senior shirts, last chance. We know we said this about a month or so ago, but Mr. Dowling wants to give you one last chance to order a senior t-shirt. Orders are due by April 11th. Use the link in the email that's being sent with these announcements to order your senior t-shirt if you have not done so already. Building 21 has resumed uh, their activities. There'll be a pickup bus outside the west entrance on Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. and Tuesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Students need to register through the website in order to be picked up. So please go to building21.org to register for the programs and for bus pickup. If you have a passion for lakes in our Great Lakes State, there's a lake poster contest. Um, students can win up to a $300 cash prize. Um, please consider um, submitting a, something uh, electronically uh, with a version of your poster to uh, Lakes Appreciation at NALMS.org. Um, the uh, July is Lake Appreciation Month and they wanna support that. Uh, in our uh, state deadline for submissions are June 1st. And now to our student of the week. This week's student of the week for the senior class is Ruthie Clinton. She was nominated by Mrs. Meredith. Mrs. Meredith said, congratulations, Ruthie. Your hard work has paid off. Congratulations, Ruthie. Our junior student of the week is Taylor Van Antwerp. She was nominated by Mrs. Hayes Murray. Mrs. Hayes Murray said, Taylor is a friendly, hardworking student. She values education, participates often, and is always willing to help however she can. She is a true pleasure to have in class. Congratulations, Taylor. Our sophomore student of the week is Claire Williston. She was nominated by Mrs. Murphy. Mrs. Murphy said, Claire continuously offers to lead the elementary lessons and does a heck of a job. She is fun and engaging. It has been such a pleasure to have her in class. Congratulations, Claire. And our freshman student of the week is Lily Stifler. She was nominated by Miss Evans. Miss Evans said, Lily has been making connections to the things she's learning in class and the world around her and applying concepts and situations outside of class. She is encouraging and supportive of her classmates and participates daily. Keep up the good work, Lily. Congratulations, Lily. 
And our staff members of the week, Mr. Marty Schnepp, who teaches AP Calculus at our North Campus. Uh, he was nominated by an anonymous student. That student said, Mr. Schnepp worked so hard to make sure we understand the topics, know the daily schedule, and is there when we do or don't have questions. Good job, Mr. Schnepp. Staff member of the week, Mr. Greg Miller in business management. He was nominated by Dallas Matthews. Dallas said, I look forward to going to Mr. Miller's class because I always know he's going to give me great advice, not only when it comes to academics, but also when it comes to real life. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Our next staff member of the week is Mr. Seth Burke. He was nominated by Brendan Trimmer and Rose Santis. Brendan said, I started choir in sixth grade because it was required, but because of Mr. Burke, now I love it. He has helped to make me such a better singer. He has helped my confidence and just being in his class makes my day much better. K. Rose Santos said, he has been a source of fun and wonder in the classroom, addicting us all to the substance that is music. Congratulations, Mr. Burke. Well, thanks for a great second week of our high flex instruction. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. We'll see you back here either remote or face to face on Monday. Enjoy your day.